<sighs> okay, so I just realized that I've had fake Laura Mercier powder this entire time. Um, I've had this powder for years, years. And I noticed, how I noticed was I'm like, dang, this one's more yellow and this one's more pinky. And then I saw that the lettering was slightly off. So the letters on here are a lot more elongated, whereas this, one is not so much so and this this um doesn't close all the way so i'm guessing this one's the fake one that i've been putting on my face and it probably has something very toxic in it i think i bought it on ebay so i'll be i'll be i'll be honest i did buy it on ebay for like super cheap and i thought like dang i'm getting a deal yeah, it's fake. <laughs> um, there's only one way to put it. it. Even the writing's totally different. But um, I'm kind of freaking out right now because I put some on and I'm like, okay, what is it gonna, now I feel like I'm, it's doing something to my skin. Like now I feel like I'm getting like a rash, but I'm thinking about it. So <laughs> obviously it's like one of those placebo. I really want to know what's in this product. It's probably baby powder. And when I smelt it, it smells off like like old makeup and i've had this mercier powder for a long time as well and this doesn't have the smell that this one gives off so if anybody can tell me what is in these off-brand black market products that they strategically tell you do not buy off the internet that would be great uh, subscribe hit the like button and this is my first video that I made my second okay so I'm gonna try this out and see what happens okay bye